Hello, my name is Hannah Morrison. I'm 18 and I am unqualified to run a podcast. Welcome to the Unqualified Podcast, where I talk to someone who is far more qualified than myself and learn what it will take for me to become just as talented. Today I will be talking with speech team phenomena, Parker Yates John. This year, Parker has been wildly successful in both humorous interpretation and oral interpretation of drama. That's like the right. Yeah. Okay. So, Parker, as a speech god, what sort of training would you recommend to me so that maybe one day I can give speeches just as good as you? Um, <laughs> Go on. I, I, do you want me to give legitimate advice? I mean, I want to be a speech god. <laughs> okay, so... You can just take it. Okay. Um, so I actually did a speech about speeches. Uh, first All right. Year. <laughs> and, uh, Give it to me now. Yeah. I'm kidding. <laughs> One thing that people uh, usually have in my events, like HI, it's basically like a play. Mm-hmm. And then you enact characters out from that play. So... A lot of people like the voices and like good fast motions uh, is one good thing. But if you want to do voices, there's a thing called a start off sentence. So like, ask me to do a voice. What's your favorite voice? It's my favorite voice? Yeah. It's really embarrassing, but it's Golem. You know, I'm not going to do that. (laughs) No, please do Golem. (laughs) Okay. I'll do two examples then. Okay. So Golem, like... A lot of people know, like, one line usually sticks out, right? Mm-hmm. So it can be, there's really one line that everybody knows from Golem, well, if they've watched it, could be, like, Hobbits' nose, right? Mm-hmm. They just know that. So it's, Hobbits' nose! <laughs> so from that, you can go and say anything. Yeah. Because you have that in your head going. Mm-hmm. So you can say anything after that. Like, I'm going to go with Kermit now, just because I don't Okay. Um, so Kermit is just like Kermit the Frog here. Kermit the Frog here. So then you can do anything after that. Because you have it in your head and you can go from there, right? It's so good. <laughs> so, so yeah, there you go. So um can you teach me how to do a voice? Yeah. What do you want to do? Um <laughs> let's go with Kermit. You wanna do Kermit? Yeah, so how do I do that? Okay. So like Oh, okay. So think about Morgan Freeman, right? Okay. One reason why people really can't get his voice is because that's his voice. But the moment right. that somebody changes it, like if he were to pitch up his voice, then a lot of people could do that because he actually changes it. But since it's just his voice, nobody can do it because it's his voice, right? Mm-hmm. So with Kermit, it's somebody changing their voice. So if somebody changes their voice, you can do the voice because All right. you can also yeah. change it. So, there's your soft palate back here, right? Mm-hmm. Just close your throat up a little bit. Got er, it. Er. <laughs> it sounds weird, but... Er. Er. Yeah, exactly. There you go. There you go. So, you can do that, right? So, right. Kermit. Kermit. And like, yeah, except now just change your mouth, right? Kermit. kermit kermit Yeah, no, no, no. That, <laughs> yeah, actually, absolutely. So, kermit frog here. You just have to move your mouth in the way that you want to move it. All right. That makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> so then, now that I'm on my way to becoming a speech god, um, what place do you think I'd get? I think you get a solid third place with your wacky antics. Your <laughs> acting. Third place? Yeah. Only? You want first? I mean, I thought, like, after this podcast, I'd be able to get first. But... Well... You have to work at it. You also have to memorize a speech. All right. So <laughs> now, uh, now that I have the knowledge I need to excel in the speech team, we're ready to move on to the part of the show where the expert and I are going to answer your questions that we are both unqualified to answer. Okay. First question: How do I handle the stress of school, relationships, and everyday life? Just all of it. Are they talking like? Like, like, how do they manage stress, basically? Personally, I don't manage stress. I um, stress out. <laughs> <laughs> do not take advice from me. But, um... I... Just think about it. 
Like, what else can you do? Just get your work done. Like, I... <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> like, I don't... Just don't stress out, and then you won't be stressed. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and get then you, you'll be happy. happy. Get a boyfriend. Go to the boyfriend store. You'll be happy. <laughs> In the words of Parker John, go to the boyfriend store, and you will be able to deal with the stress of school, relationships, and everyday life. Yeah. No, but really, just think about it. Like, <laughs> Yeah, no, I think it's just a lot of, like, um, keeping yourself calm and finding what makes you happy in between all of the stressful stuff. Absolutely get, like, break. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, that helps a lot. Um, next question. This is anonymously submitted. I don't know why it was anonymous. Okay. The question is, what sport should I play? <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> exactly. I would say tennis. I'd say swimming. Yeah, I feel like don't go with the bigger stuff because I feel like the bigger stuff is harder to get scholarships. And it's with. intimidating a little that bit. That too. Yeah. Like the smaller, if you're good at bowling, you could probably get so many scholarships. Oh for that. wow! At no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, but I feel like there's a lot of people who do football. Yeah. You know, and so I feel like they have a less like less likelihood of getting a scholarship yeah so like, think about like, how many people are on our football team alone so if it's a sport that's not as popular then they have more of a chance of mm -hmm. figuring out that they're good at it or like actually like and then choose like an easy well. one like table tennis <laughs> well, i don't think we have a table <laughs> tennis team exactly you join a club and you get a scholarship okay that makes sense okay last question how do I deal with senioritis? You don't. <laughs> I've had senioritis since October. I, I feel the same way. I feel like it's just it's getting to the point where I'm ready to be done and working on stuff that I really mm -hmm. care about. That being said, don't give up. Don't don't give up. Have have fun. But take your liberties. You know what? I think senior year is about having fun. I think you should, like this year I'm trying out a whole bunch of different things and just getting involved in my school and maybe worrying a little bit less about my schoolwork. Mm -hmm. Because at this rate, it's like I've been accepted and I think I want to remember my senior year on a good note. That's very true. I want to say that like probably a wrong number, don't quote me on this, but like 50% like of the senior class has gotten accepted. So like... Exactly. If you've been accepted, just learn to enjoy your high school while you're here. Yeah. Still don't give up. <laughs> but like... You know what? What I'm trying to say is throw all of your homework into a fire. Yes. And join speech team. Light it up. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs>